In January 2006, NASA's New Horizons probe began its long journey towards the distant world, Pluto. The incredible spacecraft became the first man-made object to encounter the icy dwarf planet, but also go beyond and explore the strange Kuiper Belt object unofficially known as Ultima Thule. In order to get to the outer zones of the solar system and complete its mission, New Horizons had to first travel through a region known as the Asteroid Belt, where it captured its first image. The asteroid belt is located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Apart from the occasional minor planet, such as Ceres, it is mainly made up of hundreds of thousands of irregular shaped objects that are spread out across a vast area. This blurred spot might not look like much, but it is the small asteroid 132524 APL. The asteroid is estimated to measure approximately 1.6 miles in diameter, and New Horizons flew by the strange rocky object in June 2006 from a distance of 63,300 miles away. Unfortunately, not all of the probe's instruments were online during the flyby, including the spacecraft's highest magnification telescope but it did offer a chance to test other instruments, such as the RALF telescope, which is a visible and infrared imager and spectrometer. After passing through the asteroid belt, the probe's next destination was the mighty gas giant Jupiter, and in 2007 it arrived, capturing many incredible images of our solar system's largest planet as it slowly approached. During its encounter with the gas giant, New Horizons used Jupiter's powerful gravity to boost its speed and adjust its course towards Pluto, increasing the probe's velocity by 8,700 miles per hour and shortening its trip to the dwarf planet by three years. The maneuver is known as a gravity assist and allowed the spacecraft the chance to collect new valuable information about the gas giant, its moons and its ring system. In February 2007, the now distant spacecraft made its closest approach to Jupiter and captured many magnificent photographs of the gas giant's swirling cloud tops. This image was created by combining several photographs that were taken in different colours, exposing the gas planet's turbulent, diverse atmosphere as it transitions from day to night. New Horizons was unable to take any close-up photos of Jupiter's largest moons because of its path during the gravity assist manoeuvre, but it was able to capture them from millions of miles away using the spacecraft's long-range reconnaissance imager, which is a black-and-white high-resolution camera. This image is of the volcanic world Io, and was captured when New Horizons was 1.5 million miles away from the moon. A huge plume of volcanic debris that is illuminated by the sun as it slowly drifts down onto Io's night side can be seen at the top of the image. Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede, was captured from a distance of 2.2 million miles away, revealing dark patches of ancient terrain and a surface that is peppered with recent impact craters that have scattered fresh, bright ice across its landscape. The famous icy world Europa was photographed from 1.9 million miles away and shows the moon's fractured icy crust that is thought to conceal a slushy ocean 60 miles below its surface. And finally, Jupiter's outermost moon, Callisto, was captured from 2.6 million miles away, exposing one of the most heavily cratered worlds in our solar system. After the Jupiter encounter was complete, New Horizons' next destination was the icy dwarf planet Pluto, approximately 3 billion miles away from Earth. In order to save energy, the spacecraft was put into hibernation mode in June 2007 and was only revived around two months every year for system checks. 
Then, nearly seven and a half years later, in December 2014, New Horizons was woken up for the last time, as it had finally arrived at Pluto. During its approach, the spacecraft sent back incredible images that were slowly increasing in quality, gradually revealing new distinct features of the mysterious icy world. This refined, ultra-high resolution true colour image shows us what Pluto would look like if we could see it with our own eyes, and was taken in July 2015 at a distance of 22,025 miles away. You can see the dwarf planet's magnificent bright icy terrain that is made up of canyons and mountains, including its famous heart, the Sputnik Planitia. Close-ups of Pluto's diverse terrain were also taken, such as this colour-enhanced image that reveals a young surface that is made up of cratered valleys and a vast mountain range that leads into an icy plain. The mountains are huge blocks of water ice with a coating of frozen gas such as methane and can be as tall as two miles high, while the icy plain is thought to be made of frozen nitrogen and is part of Pluto's famous heart feature. New Horizons also encountered Pluto's mysterious moons, including its largest, Charon. The true colour image was once again created from refined data and shows us what the moon would look like if we could see it with our own eyes, from a distance of 46,091 miles away. A dark reddish-brown mark is located at Charon's north polar region, and huge cliffs are visible stretching across the moon's crust. These blurry but still impressive images of Pluto's smaller moons, Styx, Nix, Kerberos and Hydra were taken using New Horizons Long Range Reconnaissance Imager and reveal their highly elongated shapes that are thought to be typical of small bodies in the Kuiper Belt. After more than 9 years and 3 billion miles, New Horizons had finally completed its flyby of the Pluto system in January 2016. The incredible spacecraft collected colossal amounts of information during its approach, encounter and departure, sending back over 50 gigabytes of data. But its mission wasn't over yet, as its next destination was the mysterious Kuiper Belt object unofficially known as Ultima Thule. In January 2019, three years after its Pluto encounter, New Horizons had finally arrived at the strange object at the edge of the solar system, nearly 4 billion miles away from Earth. This image was taken just minutes before the probe's closest approach to Ultima Thule and exposes the complex geology of the strange object. The little world measures approximately 18 miles in diameter and is made up of two almost spherical lobes that were gravitationally attracted to one another. New Horizons is currently more than 4 billion miles away from Earth and is scheduled to continue studying the Kuiper Belt until at least 2021. But according to NASA, the spacecraft has enough power and fuel to operate until the late 2030s, which could result in many more extended missions, perhaps even a mission outside of the solar system, studying interstellar space with its predecessors, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please hit the like button, share and subscribe. If you would like to help support my channel then please head on down to the description where you can find a link to my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.